lights in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody is safe. <laughs> Amen. But it's all right. It's all right. We plan to have a small gathering to do a big thing in God today. Is that all right, everybody? Come on and clap your hands and give God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory and honor. Glory. 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 Bless me.
for keeping us and reminding us that we are kingdom people, God, that we're covenant kingdom people, God, that you look out for us, that you're hovering over us even now, God. Even though things may not look right for everybody, you're still working it out for everyone. Lord, we thank you for your healing virtue. We thank you for deliverance in those people's lives that we know that need deliverance, Lord. We thank you for this being an awesome occasion where you move freely in here and have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. We'd like to ask Sister Robin to come up and read Isaiah 58, verse 1, verse 6, and verse 12. Okay, right. There's a place for Sister Robin. We're going to have our usher. Okay. We have our usher come. We have our usher come. Go ahead. He's going to read what he's let God do. Psalm 4, 3. But know that the Lord has set apart for himself and given the distinction to him who is always a man of loving kindness. The Lord listens and he when I call to him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we have a prayer. Okay, our MC says she was on her way here. That's not something that Minister Kell does. <laughs> Amen. But we need to stir up in here. Amen. 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 Come on. Now the MC says she'd be here in 10 minutes. That was seven minutes ago. So now what we're going to do, I can't find my glasses. Uh, we got to improvise. I just want to say in behalf of those that's not here, Pastor Darren Monroe, I'm going to read letter, uh, later um, his comments that he wants to say when we get to the point of the consecration of, of me. Um, he was supposed to be here to do that part. He's not here. I don't know what happened to Sister Robin, uh, who's the head of things back there. But uh, a few folks got busy. Let me say this. Some people died. <laughs> I'm just saying some people died. A group of them had to go deal with that. Something else happened. Something else happened. But this is the day the Lord has made. When we got here, they had guns outside. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. Some people think that the, the approval of God is that everything runs real smooth. No. And you know the approval of God is that we be obedient. Glory to God. Can, can I tell you something? The approval of God is that we be obedient regardless of what the haters say, regardless of what the friend don't feel like, regardless of how tired somebody is, regardless of how somebody want to be there or not. The uh, uh, approval is, is that we be obedient to God. Amen. Will we still do what he said? Amen. Will we still come together and do what he said? Now, let's see where we at since so much ain't there. All right. We have the scripture, and now we're going to call forth a minister to come up. And uh, my dear friend, Minister Roberta, she's going to come up, and she's going to read scripture. The welcome. I'm sorry, y'all. That's all. <laughs> We would like to welcome everyone that is here to honor and bless and give much love to our sister, Anna Rebecca, and the New Lines Multicultural Center. And just to be here, as she said, there are a lot of confrontations that have come, which means that the devil doesn't want this to happen. But guess what? When God's in control, all things are possible, and he is our rear guard. His angels encamp around us, and he goes before us. He knows all things, and no weapon formed against her or any of us will prosper. Um, we just decree and bless everyone that has come out to honor her, our sisters in Christ. And Rebecca. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Amen. It's all right. It's all right. Amen. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we just want to give you what God doing. Amen. At this time, I'm going to call the worship team up. All right. Amen. 
Put your hands together for the worship team. Rock Ministries, where their pastor is Pastor Brown. You want this or you want this? Hallelujah. Worship this as long as the Lord you need. <laughs> know what that means. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bring you greetings from Righteousness of Christ Kingdom Ministries. And as Pastor Shelf said before, uh, our pastor is Pastor Paulette Brown. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just come to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And to invite him. We know that he is an omnipotent God. He's everywhere, all seeing, all knowing. Hallelujah. But well, we just want to invite his presence here. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please feel free to stand to your feet or sit and worship however you feel comfortable. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we have come into this house. Can
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My name is Sister Tawana, and I can just tell you I love the Lord. I'm sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And that's, that's what qualifies us to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. 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 So hallelujah. We thank God for the fivefold ministry. Amen. Yes, we do. Jesus said there's gifts unto us. Said he gave some apostles. Some prophets, yeah. some pastors, uh -huh. some teachers and evangelists, according to Ephesians 4, 11 and 12. Amen? For what? He gave them for us. It says for the equipping of the yes. saints. We're yes. the saints. Amen? Yes. They yes. equip us. They make us ready. Amen. They mature us. For what purpose? For the work of the ministry. That's right. Yes. Somebody say, I have, I have a work to do. A work to do. I have, I have a work to do. A work to do. So we thank God for the laborers. Amen? Because the Bible says the harvest is ready. Isn't that right? Amen. Except for the laborers are few. So are you a laborer today? Yes. Will you go? Yes. You will you? I heard one yes. Will you go? Yes. yes. Amen. That's a joyful thing. Hallelujah. You know, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. 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 God is doing great things. Amen. Despite all the calamity that we see, he is still on the throne. Amen. He is still in control. Amen. He is still showing his mercy, particularly Amen. on America. Amen. That's a thing to shout about. Because a lot of things in America is detestable against the will of the Lord. Amen. But for the righteous. Amen. Amen. Say, but for me. Amen. For because me. we are the righteous. Amen. But for the remnant. Amen. Amen. God has spared. Hallelujah. Yes. Recognize this power and authority that you have within you. Amen. You didn't earn it. It was a gift. Amen. So the Bible says freely receive, freely give. Amen. So we are a blessing to this world. Amen. Because the blesser lives in us. Amen. Amen. God is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask that our worship team will, will come back again. Hallelujah. Amen. And give us one more selection Amen. as we get prepared. Hallelujah. Amen. You, worship destroys strongholds. Amen. 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 Worship will usher in your deliverance. Amen. Amen. Worship transforms the atmosphere. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift Jesus higher. Designated um, evangelist 
Phyllis Wheeler. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. And our designated licensed evangelist, Geneva Thomas. Amen. Being consecrated on today. Hallelujah. I'm just giving people an opportunity to take their seats. Amen. And we have our we have a evangelist as well as a consecration of the apostleship on today. And I'm going to ask that one of the ministers, Amen, would just come forward. One of the ministers around the altar, just come forward for a moment and just explain why this is necessary. We're not going to do that. Sorry. At the bottom of the program, it says that everything is subject to change. Amen. Amen. Thank God the dance team just made it, but we got to move to this part. We'll be calling y'all up, okay? All right. Amen. Um, this is what we do. We're surrounded by apostles and bishops up here. No ministers. Apostles and bishops and the evangelists elect and the prophet in the corner here. Amen. And everybody else are the ministers out there. And we thank God for everybody being here. But again, subject to change. So, what's happening now is, I'm going to turn the service over, if you're ready, to Chief Apostle uh, Norman Davis, and he's going to proceed, what well, we're going to uh, ordain one evangelist, and we're going to one which, and we're going to license the other one, amen? amen. All right, so now we're going to turn the service over into the hands of Chief Apostle Norman Davis, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Minister. Oh, the windows of heaven are open, open and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, 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 down in my soul, and Jesus made everything right. Oh, I gave him my own filthy garment, and he gave me a robe up to white. Oh, the windows of heaven are open, and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, down in my soul, since Jesus made everything right. Oh, I gave him my old silky garment, and he gave me a robe of new life. I am feasting on that. The service is subject to change by the way of the Holy Ghost. So, uh, we just gave a little bit of a change. I find that if you're happy, mm -hmm. there's no way you can sit there and look hey. at me like you waited for the undertaker instead of the uppercase. So if you're really happy, I want you to get up off of your feet. And I want you to go to somebody and tell them, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy down in my soul since Jesus made everything right. He gave him my old filthy garment and he gave me a robe of the wine. I am feasting on that from heaven and that is why I'm happy tonight. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. I've got joy, 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 joy in my soul. Let's give it up, baby. Put your hands together. That is why I'm happy. 
be so kind to grab a hold of God's creation that's standing next beside you. As you hold the hand that's next beside you, held on the hand that has been through something, been through hard times and trials and tribulations, but yet they're standing. So thank God for the hand that you're now holding. With every head bowed and every eye closed. Eternal God, we come to glorify and magnify you because of your goodness and your mercy yes. and your everlasting kindness. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for this day we never saw before and the day we shall never see again. Yes. We ask you, God, Lord, to give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to us today. Yes. We pray, God, for these candidates, Lord, that you have anointed and appointed and consecrated and set apart this day. Yes. Yes. Lord, to be yes. consecrated, yes. elevated, ordained, as well as licensed, yes. Father, for your glory. Yes. Be able to go forward and do a work in your vineyard. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, as we gather together in one place on one accord, you get the glory out of all that is done here today. You get the praise and the honor out of all that is done here today. That we might decrease joy and increase the more. Come behind the cross of Calvary. No must be lips of clay. And have thine own will be the head of the strong man. All flesh and all so everybody else is sick. And the Holy Ghost might have his free course right away today in Jesus' name. And let your blood prevail. Everybody in the world say amen. 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 According to the program, we're going to start off with the designated ordained evangelist, Phyllis M. Wheeler. I'm asking that my grandson, Brother Ty, can you roll that chair here, right here, please? And roll it back up to here, and then turn it around so it's facing the congregation. All right, that is Will. Can y'all hear me? Yes. I got a built-in PA system. Yes. So y'all can hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? All right, I'll hold my Then interfere with what the Lord is doing. Amen. I can't hold. That's why they got stand. Evangelists, Phyllis and Will. Many of our journeys are diversified. Diversified is different. Such as is the case of Evangelist Will, who did not start a Christian journey by the way of deliverance from drugs while a loose living. But at the age of eight years old, she received Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as her own personal Savior. Mm -hmm. However, at 14 years old, she became Holy Ghost baptized, filled child of God, under the ministry of the late Apostle Arturo Skelly. It was there she attended the Deliverance Bible Institute and received a biblical truth, principles, and foundation for Christian living and teaching. She remained there until 1975, after the passing of the late Apostle Arturo Roskamp. After that, she looked, relocated in the Asbury Park area, where she became an active member of Shiloh United Holiness Church. After that, she relocated in the Asbury Park area, where she became an active member of the Shiloh United Holiness Church on the late Reverend Felton Miller, where she served as president of the Missionary Board. Vance Willow was assistant pastor to Reverend Alga Morris until she moved to Florida. Vance Willow is presently in process of conducting a, and teaching a weekly Bible study at a senior citizen building. It's the normal woman of God. Also continues to preach the good news of Jesus Christ in various venues and churches as the opportunity presents themselves. This is the evangelist Phyllis Willow. I'm charging you this time. I charge you, Evangelist Phyllis Will, as the fans of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to live the word according to Leviticus 11:44. I am the Lord your God, and you shall be holy, for I am holy. Yes. To believe the word, believe in the word, to believe in the Lord. Your God, so shall you be established. Second Chronicles 20 and 20. To obey the word. Hold to obey is better than sacrifice. First Samuel 15 and 22. To walk in the calling. 
Walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Ephesians 4 and 1. To abide in the word. You abide in me. My words abide in you. You shall ask what you will, and it shall be undone unto you. John 15 and 7. To preach the word, I charge thee, Phyllis M. Willa, therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and at his kingdom. Preach the word. The instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. And doctrine, for the time will come. But they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap in themselves teachers, having engineers. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 3. But watch thou all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of that ministry. 2 Timothy 4 and 5. I charge you, Phyllis Willow, to illustrate the word and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Mark 16 and 7. 17. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark 15 and 18. And many signs and wonders were done, according to Acts 2 and 42. Last but not least, teach the word. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Psalms 51, 12, and 13. Amen. 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 This time, Apostle Shell, stay seated. Apostle Shell, ask that Apostle and Bishop Aiken. Yeah. 
Reaches to the people that have been contacted with AIDS and HIV. She goes into various venues and conducts those type of services. And I've seen her work. I've seen what she does. She goes out there and not only does she tell them about the danger of HIV and AIDS, but she gives an opportunity for them to also come to Jesus Christ. What's an evangelist? One that just preaches and spreads spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Paul said, I become all things to some men that I might be able to win some. So I charge thee, Sister Geneva Thomas, as an evangelist of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live a word according to Leviticus 11.44. For I am the Lord your God, and ye shall be holy. For I am holy. Believe the word. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established as a cross. To obey the word. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. 1 Samuel 15 and 22. To walk in the calling. Walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Ephesians 4 and 1. To abide in the word. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15 and 7. To preach the word. I charge thee, you need Geneva Thomas. Therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at the appearing of God his kingdom, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season, yes. reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. 2 Timothy 4 1 through 3. But watch therefore all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, Geneva Thomas. And make full proof of that ministry. 2 Timothy 4 through 5. Amen. Hear me today. I charge you, Geneva Thomas, to demonstrate the word. 
And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils, Mark 16 and 17. They shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover, Mark 16 and 18. And many signs and wonders shall be done by them, Acts 2 and 4. Last but not least, teach the word. Restore me the joy of thy salvation, then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Psalms 51, 12, and 13. This one here is being done because God says so. Now, when I say that, it's not that God didn't want to anoint and consecrate Francis Will. But me and Francis Will are doing a recall. Amen. I licensed her years ago, but never did the actual service. Amen. But today we had to do a service. We want the public recognition, we want the public proclamation that she is who God says she is. But when I talk about Evangelist Thomas, see now, she did not go and get all the Bible schooling that everybody required all that. But she did what Mary did. She sat at the feet of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, she's had some good Bible instruction. I taught her a little bit of what I knew. A little bit, just a little bit, because I don't know that much. But I shared some things with her. She's been under some ostracist ministers. But this is something that God is doing. We are living in the last days. Everybody that God calls to ministry is not going to have time to go five years and four years in a Bible college and win the loss. That's right. We're living in the last days. Right. We had that time years back. That's right. But Jesus is too soon to come now. To fill up family around trying to get that degree, that degree, that degree, while souls are dying and going to hell. God has appointed this day for her. Amen. 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 What I like about it, when God does something, he does it with freedom. Yes. Hallelujah. There's no strings attached. Amen. And she know a lot of preachers. But God laid it on my heart Amen. to license her to preach the gospel, to carry out her evangelistic work. Yes, I'm not a pastor. She has a pastor. She's in training with her church. But in the meantime, there's work to be done. Amen. 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 I'm asking this time that Apostle Shell come forward. I'm sorry if y'all look for form and formality, but this is a move of the Holy Ghost. God is moving by the Spirit.
something the Lord just had me say to her. He says, say it out loud for everybody to hear. There's a lot of things that happen in life, and they either hurt your feelings, make you feel better, but they make you feel like something, one way or another. And God said that there's been many distractions because of a feeling. We have to get over what we feel. If you feel we experience it, kick it off. Go ahead, work with it with God, but keep it moving. If you don't do that, you'll be stuck. And keep saying, yeah, but the enemy, as soon as I come out, no, you're already out. We in the last days, we don't have time to be hanging out with your feelings. We don't have time for that. So as God had me saying this to the woman of God, that these distractions, if she don't yield to the feelings and the hurts that the enemy try to bring, the wounds, because he tries to set you in offenses. Amen. That is a weapon. That's a heavy weapon. It comes against the very thing that God came to save, and that was our soul. We can't be moved by the soul. It was the emotions, the feelings. Amen? We got to gird up, which also messes with your mind. Hallelujah. 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 Hall